Okay, day in the life video. Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. Uh, you know, if you're going to do a day in the life video, you're going to see all kinds of things. And today what you're seeing is the aftermath of the battle of Crow Hill, I'll call it. Or Crow Valley. We'll call it the Battle of Crow Valley. So, uh, uh, yesterday after processing, oh, about 7 o'clock in the evening, uh, somebody says, hey, I need your help down in the backfield, one of my kids, with something. And so I said, okay, make this quick. Um, fire up the tractor and head over that way. And uh, there's a place where I have to drive through and normally I drive through it no problem. It's a bit of a ditch, but um, but this time I had a back blade on my tractor because of the snow that we've been getting here in November, which I'm not complaining about, but it's just, yeah, it's just making things a little difficult and I wasn't quite ready for it, but it just adds to the action. And so I come over and when I go down through that ditch, the uh, the back blade hangs up and my tires wind up sinking down into the, the soft ground and there's a lot of water in that ditch now that wouldn't be there but it is because of the all the snow and things are it's not cold out yet really uh, it's 20 now but uh, last night it was probably 30 so uh, then okay I got to go back to the barn get the other tractor to come and pull it out I go back to the barn, my 2020 that's been running like a champ. I start it up and it's not running so good. And I start moving over this direction and pop, 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 it's banging. And uh, I barely make it back to the barn. So, okay, I need the tractor today so I can't leave it over here. This is what I'm saying to myself last night. So I start up the plow truck, and it hasn't been running since last winter, right? And usually when I start it up, I have a lot of things that I do, but I need that tractor, so I'm just kind of going to make it happen, right? So I hit it with the starting fluid, and then uh, it cranks, but it doesn't stay running, and uh, I look at it, and it's out of gas. How can that be? I've been driving it all summer. So I put gas in it, and all these things take time, because last night it's dark, it's cold, and all this. Finally get it running, and I bring it over here, uh, and it's sitting there. I'm just about hooked up to the tractor, going to pull it out, and uh, the truck shuts off. It's almost like somebody turned the key, and I thought, oh, no. And so I got back in, I try to crank it, nothing. You know, it, it cranks, but it won't start. So I'm having a feeling that it overheated because it didn't have enough coolant in it because possibly it evaporated during the winter, during the summer, maybe, I'm hoping. But, you know, it's at the end of the day, I'm really tired, really cold, my feet are wet, and I just want to be left alone. And this is what I get dealt. So I'm back over here this morning. I had to take mom's car over here because it's four wheel drive. And so here I am. There's the old Ford. Now, if it did overheat, it might just start right up. It might. That would be a nice thing. But there's the tractor. <laughs> now, I don't even know if we're going to be able to pull it out with this truck. I really don't. I might have to go see my, my favorite neighbor, Jack, to see if he'll come over and help me. I know he will. But I may have to do that. Because I need that today. Because today we're going to be processing two beef. So I have a lot ahead of me but I really need this tractor. So that's a day in the life. That's what, you know, the, that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. So 
I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to get in this truck. It's going to start. It's going to start. And I'm going to drive right out of here. Anyone can farm.